Mr. Noah from Rookie Outdoor Learners picking up the ammo. 30 off 6. 30 30. What is this? Got a oh, three buck, and a half inch. Some buckshot. Double up. Look at that. What is that? Reusable ear. Oh, earplugs. Yeah. Never mind. For the shooting range. And then a orange aluminum arrow. How much was this? I was like 10 bucks for one. Jesus Christ. Yeah, not cheap. Some cleaners. And then here are a couple of toxic broadheads I had from last pig season. You can see we got some piggy blood on there still. But uh, got some more. These these things are freaking awesome. If you haven't used Toxic, you got to use them. But uh, see, you got your little um, what is it called? Bear Cruiser. Well, no, no, your uh, oh my gosh, I can't think of what it is. The, the fix of the pins. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the little uh, hexagon tool or whatever they call them. Oh. Right here. Oh, gotcha. He's gonna take a few shots. I need to wait to get another arrow or two because mine broke and I lost some stuff so I can't even shoot my bow right now so well it's fun yeah. watching other people shoot bows right yeah just a little <laughs> bit and we're just shooting in my backyard right now um like I said and apparently the arrow cutter someone who is allowed to cut the arrows wasn't at the place to be able to get my arrows so with that being said I have to wait until I can actually get some more arrows to shoot so I got to do that this week because next week we're on hawk hunting I was gonna go shoot the rifles today but uh, it just couldn't happen today it sucked but uh my wife wasn't feeling too great so we had to uh, I just stayed with her so that's the long story short with that but we still get to shoot the bow a little bit or at least Noah can so See if we can get a few shots off. Noah's the one I'm most nervous about. Have you shot a pig with uh with the bow yet? You know my story. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, so, no, 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 no. What's the story? What's the story? So the day I bought a shotgun, y'all, was the day I was practicing with 100 grain field tips and I put a 150 grain arrow broadhead on there. I was 20 yards away from the perfect little 60 pound shooter. Line up my shot and everything goes right under her belly. She runs off with the whole entire herd. I kid you not, there's about 20 of them out there. And uh, next thing I know, I'm at Walmart and I bought a uh, Mossberg. <laughs> so, so he's been sh he's been using a shotgun to shoot his pigs lately, which not necessarily a problem with that. Um, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to shoot some pigs from the stand um, this next coming up week with uh, with the bow, and we're bringing everything. We're gonna shoot them with everything. Hopefully, we'll get a couple. I want I'm I'm wanting at least two pigs each. Yeah. If we can do three, that would be freaking awesome. But we want to fill up a freezer we got going so that our Mayaka trips can be more of a fun trip rather than a trying to fill up the freezer trip. Let's see. That was a dead pig right there. A dead one. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. See, I turned it so that one with the Luminoc was to the left, not the bottom. So that one was a pretty good shot. That one can't really count that one for this one. It was right where you wanted it to be. It was just a little to the left. But then I turned it over because I figured that the side that wasn't shot the most mm -hmm. was a little farther down at least now. So you can shoot it and it won't go completely through it. Oh, perfect. So, yeah. Should I find something to lift that up a little bit? You want a brick or something to get it a little higher, or do you think it's good? That's fine. Yeah, those pigs are going to be low anyway. Yeah. That was a good shot. That's definitely a better grouping. Plus, these two have aluminox. That one doesn't. I don't. Might affect it a little bit. I doubt it'll affect it much. But. Oh, 
closer than you are. Your grouping's pretty close for the most. I mean, that's the thing is that that's a the area you're trying to hit small anyway. If you hit it in that area at all, yeah, you're, that's, that should be a dead pig. I mean, if you're shooting it from behind the leg at least. Dead pig. Oh, so light. See how you did. Dude, I might as well take your bow. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, those are not bad. And that bow is way too small for me. I might as well take your bow. <laughs> she did. <laughs> We're at about 30 yards from one side of my backyard to the other. See if, what he can do at 30. I haven't sighted in the 30 yard pin though, so. Woo! I think that? that I think that's pretty good. <laughs> I think you got yourself a dead pig. Oh, that, wasn't good. that was a little high. I lifted up on that one. You lifted up on that one on purpose? Yeah. No, on purpose, just my arm. Oh. Well, that hit a fence for sure. Let's go check that out. Yeah, that's not bad. 30 yards, that ain't too bad except for that one. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry about your fence. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> As you can see, my fence needs to be fixed. Oh, that's my new arrow too. That's nah, not. That's nah, fine. The arrow shouldn't be compromised unless there's like a crack in it, but it doesn't look like there is. Where'd you get those arrows from? Bass uh, Pro or no, build? I got it at Adventure Outfitters. Adventure Outfitters. Tampa. Oh, got you. Yeah, that's still broken since Irma, <laughs> which I kind of didn't really fix it, but I need to. All right. I'm gonna go for that. Top left flight. Top left flight. Top left It's pretty spot on. Let's see what this last one can do. Again, right in that other zone. Yeah, everything was pretty much on the same height, just uh. A little bit to the right, but now those are some good shots. I mean, I'm not too. I'm pretty proud of myself. It's been the first time shooting in what a year. So, I, mean, it's been a while. I would say I needed to keep up with a little bit more. So hopefully I'll get those arrows this week, so I can start shooting some more. Because don't get me wrong, I want to use the rifle and the shotgun, but I want to get some bow hunting done. These freaking squirrels! Look at that. He's waiting. They're eating shit out of the truck. You want to fight? evil little craps. 
Don't worry. You'll get what's coming to you. You'll get it. There's got to be a better light there. Okay, that's better. So, you want to say something? No? You want to be sassy some more? You're gay. I know. So, long story short, I thought there was going to be more I was going to record, but it was, uh, I went over to my parents and saw my baby because he's staying over there tonight. And, um, going to get up really early in the morning, like 2.30, I think. And, uh gonna go do some scouting tomorrow so I'll get some video of that hopefully with a good camera so I can get some really good f this woman slamming on her brakes on purpose so gonna go get some good footage and uh, didn't end up actually going to the range they were going to but uh, my wife wasn't feeling too great this morning so, you do that again <laughs> wife wasn't feeling too good this morning she's about to not feel good again so that we just ended up not going. So Noah came and took a few shots and as you saw. And uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, hopefully gonna get some good footage tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned for that.